we are absolutely thrilled that we can get back to fitness. It's back to the gym for BC. Tuesday's announcement means people can catch up on their New Year's fitness goals starting January 20th. But the return to fitness isn't as simple as picking up the free weights again. This is not just flicking on a light switch to turn a business on. We discussed the use of masks. We discussed um, what distancing would look like. What is operationally reasonable? We have uh, limits that include a minimum of seven meters square for every individual for exercise, in, in, and that's about a 2.5 by 2.5 meters. Um, the spacing requirements applies to people working out on their own, um, whether it's doing weights or on a treadmill, but also applies to, to group fitness classes to have that unencumbered space around people. Other requirements include enhanced ventilation, pre-bookings, and time spacing between classes. Masking is also mandatory, except when exercising, though Dr. Henry says keeping the mask on even then is a good idea. We know that that can cause uh, uh, challenges for some people. However, I will say it is absolutely encouraged. While gym owners are celebrating a return to business, bars and nightclubs can stay open as long as they offer full meal service and keep their dance floors closed. And that may cause some challenges. Today was uh, expected. Um, but, you know, made people you know, sad and frustrated that our people are increasingly cash strapped. Um, we have a lot of employees who are leaving the industry because they're not able to get enough shifts. And it's, it's really challenging for business owners out there. So Jeff Guignard says the vast majority of businesses will not be able to pivot their business model under these orders. Business owners want to be innovative and creative and run their business. Uh, but they can't afford to operate at a loss, right? So the discussion of whether or not they can pivot is, is actively going on right now with all of the problems. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.